and there we go. Okay, we've been hit three times, and we're still going, but we have taken some pretty heavy damage. You can see the ship is going down, and I've just struck a mine, which uh, is great. So, um, that didn't happen. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Recreating the Disasters, and today, we're focusing on the Justicia. See ya guys? Let's get into the video. All right, so here we have the Justicia, and no, this is not a new ship added to the game. This is actually a converted version of the Belgian Land, a ship that just happened to look very similar to the Justicia. So that's what we're using today to recreate this sort of disaster. And yeah, I'm gonna hand it over to Jay Killen to talk about it. So, Jay Killen? Yeah, so the SS Justicia was a British troop ship that was launched in 1914 in Ireland. She was designed and launched as the transatlantic liner Statendom, which was the new flagship for the Holland America Line. The outbreak of World War I delayed her completion. In 1915, the Holland America Line agreed to let the United Kingdom requisition her as a troop ship. The ship was completed in 1917 and was renamed to the Justicia, with the intentions that Cunard Line would crew and command her. Cunard was unable to raise a crew, so the White Star Line was appointed to manage her. After the sinking of the HMHS Britannic in 1916, this left White Star Line with enough crew to command the SS Justicia. The SS Justicia entered service in April of 1917, carrying troops from North America to Europe. In early 1918, she was painted with a dazzle camouflage. On January 23, 1918, she was soon attacked by a U-boat, but managed to escape. On July 19, 1918, the SS Justicia left Belfast for New York, being escorted by destroyers, which is where we are currently. Alright, thank you, J. Killen, and the sun should be coming up in just a minute, so we'll depart then. One thing that I've noticed is the ship is really unstable. We're in sort of, well, I guess normal waters in Tiny Sailor's World, but it does seem to be having a pretty big effect on the ship which is a bit interesting. All right, so in just a moment, the sun is gonna come over the horizon. There it is, and I think we should go ahead and we should get going. All right, so here we go. We are now departing Belfast, and uh, yeah. All right, so we really haven't gotten that far away from Belfast, and we are already approaching the area where the disaster is going to take place. So, Jay Killen, do you wanna sort of give us a bit of background as to what's about to happen? Yeah, the sources where we got the information on the sinking varies, but this is what I have gathered. So 20 miles from Scarybor, Scotland, UB-64 fired three torpedoes. Now, can I expect those torpedoes in just about a minute? I'm assuming you're somewhere around me right now ready to fire. Yep. It is really scary that I don't know where you are and can't see you. Oh, there we go. Okay, we've just been hit. All right, so as you can see, we've taken damage at the stern. We've gotten another hit there, and there should be one more coming this way. And there we go. Okay, we've been hit three times, and we're still going, but we have taken some pretty heavy damage. You can see the ship is going down, and I've just struck a mine, which uh, is great. So um, that didn't happen, but uh, don't worry. With the magic of editing, the ship has been repaired to its uh, pre-mine impact state. All right, we're back, and Jay Killen, do you want to give us a little bit of insight on what happened next? Yeah, so after the torpedo impacts, she developed a list, but her watertight doors were closed in time, and it kept her afloat. So yeah, Jay Killen, where was the ship going at this stage? It wasn't just going to stay there. So what happened next? Yeah, so the tug Sonia took the SS Justicia in tow, headed for Loch Swilly, which is in the northern part of Ireland. All right, so we've been going for quite a while here, and we still haven't made it to our destination or where the ship would be going. And it wouldn't be the end of this nightmare for the Justicia and the crew on board. What happened next? Yeah, so UB-64 fired another torpedo, but it was actually destroyed by Justicia's gunners again. Then UB-64 fired another torpedo, which actually struck her, but it didn't sink her yet. So this ship has been struck by four torpedoes, is that correct? Yep, like right just there. Yeah, I just saw that. This ship is handling extremely well against four torpedoes, which still amazes me. Now, Jay Killam, we really haven't mentioned the crew at all. What was going on with the people on board the ship at this stage? Yeah, so while she was being towed by the Sonia, part of her crew was actually evacuated. So at least they were able to get off before anything else happened to the ship, and luckily we just gained some fuel. It's not really gonna help us much, but uh, there we go. On the next morning, on July 20th, 1918, UB-124 found the SS Justicia and hit her amidship with two torpedoes, killing between 10 to 16 of her engine room crew. So now we're seeing another U-boat attacking the Justicia. So we had that first one from earlier, 
And now we have a second one, which is about to sink the ship. Am I right about that? Yep. And I did just see that explosion. So, yeah, the ship will be going down in just a moment, I believe. All right, so the ship is now really beginning to sink. The stern is underwater, and around this point is when a real photo was taken of the ship going down. And it was sort of at this angle, and I can put up the real one here and show you how close that is to reality there. And there goes the funnels as the ship rapidly goes to the bottom. All right, so it's completely vertical now, and it's beginning to drop under. And you can see just a little bit of the bridge remains in that forward superstructure, and then just the bow. There's not much that remains at this stage. It's going under very quick. We've got some air escaping from that forward hatch, and yeah, it is gone. And apparently that lifeboat as well, it just went right through the ship. So apparently it's also a ghost ship. But there goes the nameplate. There goes the forward part of the ship. It is done. The Justicia is going to the bottom. Now, Jay Killen, you mentioned something to me earlier, and do you want to explain something that wasn't accurately recreated in this sinking? Yeah, so the wreck lies at a depth of around 230 feet below the surface, and based on that, you could probably assume that the ship actually struck bottom while it was still sinking from above the water. Yeah, and I do want to mention the ship just hit bottom as well, but uh, yeah, the shipwreck is in shallow water. Divers can go down to it, and if you just happen to be looking up, let's just say, shipwreck on Google, you probably came across this image. This is actually the wreck. This is the Justicia, and it is really interesting to see because you can see where the beams are in the ship as well, which is just super cool. So the Justicia portion of this video is now over with, but the U-boat has to deal with a whole nother ordeal, and what was that? Yeah, so the three destroyers who were escorting the SS Justicia, the HMS Marne, Millbrook, and Pigeon, depth charged UB-124, forcing her to surface and was sunk by gunfire. Well then, a bonus sinking for the video. So, uh, yeah, Jay Killen, if you want to do the honors, uh, you can go right ahead and sink the U-boat. And it's gone. That was incredibly quick. Well then, two wrecks, one being the U-boat and the other being the Justicia. Very cool, and I do recommend you try this out for yourself. I mean, you can convert the Belgian Lind into the Justicia relatively easily on Tiny Sailor's World. And you can also just convert any ship you want into whatever ship you want, which is pretty cool as well. But if you guys have enjoyed this room, make sure you leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you all next time, guys. Goodbye.